Joining us in the studio is the man of the day, Parham Maksudlu, the sole leader of the tournament. Parham, what a win, first of all. And then you were analyzing until now. Yes. I think uh, Prague is the guy who I really enjoy to play against him. And uh, I think we both have like same behavior after lose. We want to just learn from it. And uh, okay, it's uh, good that uh, he wanted to analyze, and I also wanted to analyze, and yeah, it's good that he accepted because uh, I think it was a very, very uh, interesting game. And of course, we, we had like many different thoughts that we could share after the game, so it was nice for me. Beautiful. That's wonderful to know uh, that in this age where people go back to their yes. room and check engines, yes. that you still find value in analyzing with your opponent. Yes, because I mean, we, we have different minds and I mean, at some moments we just completely uh, like have uh, different opinions about the position. So it is nice to just get uh, each other. You know, I mean, get the point of each other from the position. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I want to go to this moment in the game uh, where you played this move f3. Take yes. us through your thought process. I um, mean, because I mean, I I knight f3 uh, was normal. I mean, this f3 looks very ugly move, but. In general, I, I was upset that I didn't check this move knight bd7 in the opening because I believe it's not a good move. I mean, uh, after queen b3, after I think knight c6 is the uh, probably only move to equalize. I mean, knight bd7, I'm sure, uh, okay, it's solid but doesn't equalize. And uh, I. I was upset of, of myself that I didn't check this move because when you prepare something, uh, you are waiting for your opponent mistake and then you can catch him. But I mean, he made a mistake uh, so early in the game and I didn't know what to play. Mm. So I mean, this was uh, uh, on my nerve like all the time. So that's why I couldn't make uh, good decisions. That's why you position. played this move F3 just so yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, just want I just wanted to play something. Weird, <laughs> like mm. that's it. Yeah. And and one question was, if he had gone knight b d five, were you a little bit worried about this move? Or uh, no, I wanted e four. Ah, e four. Yes. Sorry, first h six. Sorry. Yes, h bishop h four. And now knight d five. Yes, this I saw. I think I wanted to play queen, queen d two. Take take. Yeah, queen d two. I think. Queen d two. Yes. Or bishop f two. I mean both. And then you are okay with it. I mean, I, of course, this F3 looks very stupid, but what's... I mean, I didn't like my position. I was so upset that I am in the position that I, I'm sure that black is completely fine mm -hmm. and I couldn't uh, make any problem for him. But, but I mean, he made the game simple for me with this, uh, with this kind of... Uh, playing like e5. I mean, at least I, I this had is some not hopes. a simple position. Yeah, this one is I quite mean, tough to play as white. Tough to play as white, but I had some hopes because I knew that this is unbalanced structure, and it's always in these structures like some potential, some dynamic potential. And I, I was waiting for his mistake to use this potential. When you played f5, what was your assessment in the position? I thought it's like 0 0.5 for black. Mm -hmm. I mean, but it was my only chance to create some counterplay. And hey, I mean, in general, uh, I think my problem was not to, to play this position. My problem was uh, yesterday when I was preparing. <laughs> I could have done much better when I was preparing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, I cannot How long did you think about this? I mean, like all the game. game. I can oh okay, o only maybe last 10 moves which I got a promising <laughs> position. I was not thinking about this because I wanted to play good. Mm. Okay, it's not professional to think about your mistakes like the whole game, but I mean, uh, also it's not professional not to prepare well yes. in this level. Yes. So, I mean, you you should really care about this. Today it worked out for you. <laughs> okay, luckily uh, he went, uh, uh, also one more went question wrong for him at some point. Before Queen G3, like at any point of time, were you even considering ideas of G4, G5 or you were very sure that... I was considering but I said, okay, G4, G5, let's say, uh, let's say here your opponent is on G4, yeah? I mean, it's even white to move. You play G5, 
Okay, rook d8, what's next? f6, like, okay, queen moves, okay, fg7, king g7. This is the best you can get, and then what? Like, knight e6, knight f4 is coming, like, and this knight on h3 doesn't move. <laughs> That's why g4 <laughs> looks very stupid to me. Okay, I thought, okay, after queen g3, at least I have some uh, straight plan with knight f2, knight g4. Okay, here, actually, I mean, I knew that uh, engine shows that black is better, but... Over the board, I had some practical chances. Like some. So, so here, your idea was move the queen, get the rook. I mean, my idea was first to play h3 and then f6, queen h4. Mm. Which is and what you I, I, re I really count on this knight on h6. I mean, I thought this this will save my. But there was one thing. <laughs> Why didn't you go here? Uh, uh, knight f5. Yeah, like uh, sorry. When you went rook f5 at this point, why not knight f5? What was stopping you from making this move? But uh, I didn't understand what's the plan after knight f5, like what am I doing? Because rook f5, at least I wanted rook h5 and then move the knight. And I think with one more rook in the attack it should be better mm. to play knight f5. Because I couldn't see the way that he can stop me from playing rook h5, knight f5. Right, but he went b4 which was actually quite a practically interesting move. I mean he so had to do something. Yeah. What were you calculating for rook f5, you mean? Is there any main concern for rook f5? I mean, not really. I mean, th this is not the kind of position that you have to calculate. This is just like you just uh, go attack with all pieces and then you <laughs> will calculate that. I mean, it's like a puzzle rush. Yeah? You just uh, go with all the pieces to attack and then you will have some tactics. Mm. I mean, uh, okay, exactly happened in the game. Yeah? They missed rook f6. But, uh, but it's a uh, huge pressure on black here. You know, like he was low on time, it 30 seconds, and he can do many, many mistakes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vincent was here in with us when this was happening and he said, it would be wise for Prague to actually sort of play knight c4 and take a draw here. But here I would play knight f5. I'm not sure if it's, it's draw. Knight c4? Ah, you would you would continue, yes? Yes, knight f5 and then rook e f3. I think uh, uh, still very. Oh, you bad. had no thought of draw in mind. No, I mean the actually after okay here, I thought he can make a draw with knight d2. But uh, yes, and uh, knight d2, rook e3, knight c4. This is like I cannot do anything. But but, but after he also want he, he wanted to win, and, and I understood. But I after b5, I mean I was playing without any fear here. Like I I was sure that it's no chance to lose this position. Wow. Like it was such a big counterplay in my mind. Like with knight on h6, like always so many mating threats. So I thought, okay, I will never lose this game. Your intuition was very strong for this. Yeah. yeah, I was after f6, I was super happy with my position. I think he just underestimated a bit. And rook g3, queen d7, and here, uh, king h1. Uh, yeah, I know it's uh, okay. I was also low on time. I played this move less than one minute on the clock. And I just didn't want to get into tricks. I mean, I knew I have a very good attack, but okay, king, if, you, if I play king h2, there's always some knight f1. I mean, not here, but I mean, I have to, let's say my plan is to play rook h5, knight f5, to have this uh, good attack on h7. But I c after king h2, I can never move the rook. This is my problem. Mm. That's why I play king h1. But I mean, it's always very hard to make this decision sure. for the king, like in all positions. It's very difficult. I mean, even in some position, like even knight was not on d2, engine was trying maybe king f1. <laughs> like you can <laughs> never know what engine suggests True. in this kind of position. No. Even queen g4 was a very classy move actually. I mean, I, after the game, we discussed a lot about this position. And I think uh, rook g3 is the best. Yes. I mean, rook g3. Actually, rook f2 was uh, very Okay, rook f3, I mean, yeah, I never think about it. rook f3. Yeah, it's <laughs> a I, I played rook f5, I mean, rook f2 looks very dubious. Yeah, it's not a human. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's, uh, but you were considering queen g4 and rook g3. Rook g3. Rook g3, uh, actually, I saw that after rook g3, uh, knight c4, rook g4, knight, uh, let's say, knight c3, I have rook f6. I mean, this I saw. And this is very uh, brilliant because after rook g4, I can play rook f8, king g7, rook g8. I think this is just brilliant, yeah? And I saw this, I calculated this, that I'm winning, but I didn't play rook g3. 
But maybe, I mean, uh, maybe Queen G4 is better, I don't know, but Rook G3, uh, after the game we couldn't... D In time pressure it looks more... Yeah, it looks just killing, yeah. But okay, I mean, Queen G4 also looks yeah, nice. very, very nice natural move. move. And you didn't even think for a bit, yeah, like when he played... Okay, yeah, first. I mean, this was my trap after King. <laughs> I thought, okay, is it possible for him to play Knight E6? Okay, I say, yeah, there are some hopes that he <laughs> play, but after he play... Uh, okay, first, actually, I thought, what, what did I miss? And then I rechecked the position, okay, Rook F6 is winning. Amazing. Well, uh, Parham, you are on 2 out of 2 sole lead. You came from Bundesliga where you won a crucial game against Vincent. Yes. Tomorrow you play with him again. Uh, tomorrow he's your opponent. Any thoughts okay. about it? Uh, I didn't know that I play against him tomorrow. No, we, we were but discussing uh, when Vincent was here. Uh, I think uh, yeah, it will be a very interesting game for sure because he's also uh, very young and he, he plays uh, fighting chess. I always enjoy against this kind of uh, players. So I think it will be very, very interesting game. And and I think from your you lost some rating recently, but now you are getting back there. Yeah, you are I mean in, in the flow uh, again upwards. Yeah, I mean if one bad tournament can happen for everyone. It's just uh, uh, important not to lose the track because I mean I think in any best player uh, he, uh, career was some bad tournament for sure. And okay, for me was this Vicon Z, which I believe I played very, very good chess. At least in some games, I I really deserved to win, and I didn't win. But okay, what to do? I mean, I c I couldn't stop and wait <laughs> to see my rating just go down. So I tried very hard, and I think the results are coming. Finally, like I always uh, enjoy asking you some open-ended question. My last question for today is, what's your aim for this year, particularly? Uh, for this year? I mean, okay, it's, it's more likely a joke, but uh, my, my plan was to win all games. <laughs> 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 Like no, that's why I, I like to ask you this question. Because yeah, I was thinking, okay, I'm doing uh, workout every day. I'm doing training like every day, at least like seven hours to ten hours. So why I shouldn't win all games? <laughs> I was like this. But okay, it won't happen for sure. We remember your interview where you had mentioned in the very beginning that you would work for 18 hours a yes. day, yeah, really 18 to 20 yes, hours a day. After this failure, I, thought this is I started amazing. again to work like this. And I feel very good. Yeah, and maybe uh, winning all the games may not happen because, yes, we, but course. at least that's the aim with which you are playing. I mean, that's the spirit. That's that the spirit you with want, which yeah. you are playing. Wow, that's wonderful to know, Parham. Thank you always for Thank joining you. us, uh, playing inspiring chess, fun chess. Yes. It's so much fun to follow your games as commentators because whenever we go to your board, something's some, happening. Yeah, some fire on the board. Some fire on <laughs> the board. So thank you so much. Thank you. And okay. uh, see you soon. See you. Uh, all the best for yeah, tomorrow. For you too. Goodbye. And, uh,